In this spoken tutorial, you will learn how to write an assembly language program for interfacing a push button with the 8051 microcontroller. A switch is an electromechanical device which can make and break an electrical connection between its two terminals. Two types of switches are commonly used in microcontroller based system, push button and sliding switch. When a push button is pressed, it makes an electrical connection between its two terminals. When a push button is released, it breaks the electrical connection between its two terminals. Push buttons are used in construction of keyboard. A sliding switch has two positions on and off. When the sliding switch is in on position, it makes an electrical connection between its two terminals. When the sliding switch is in off position, it breaks the electrical connection between its two terminals. Sliding switches in dual in line pack are commonly used in microcontroller based system. The basic difference between a push button and sliding switch is when it is required to maintain the connection between the two terminals of a push button it is required to press and hold the push button on the other hand in case of sliding switch putting the sliding switch in on position helps in maintaining the electrical connection between its two terminals both sliding switch and push button are of the type single pole single through they have a contact resistance of less than 0.1 ohm and a contact current of 100 mA at 50 volt. There are two ways of connecting a push button and sliding switch. When one end of the push button is connected to ground through a resistor and the other end is connected to plus 5 volt, the push button is set to be connected in pull up. In this case, the voltage across the resistor is the output voltage. With the push button release, the voltage across the resistor is zero volt because the current flowing through resistor is zero. When the push button is pressed, the voltage across resistor becomes plus five volt because of current flowing through resistor and low contact resistance of push button. Similarly, a sliding switch can be connected in pull up. When one end of the push button is connected to ground and the other end is connected to plus 5 volt through a resistor, the push button is set to be connected in pull down. In this case, the voltage across the push button is the output voltage. With the push button release, the voltage across the push button is plus 5 volt because the current flowing through resistor is zero. When the push button is pressed, the voltage across the push button changes to zero volt because of current flowing through resistor and low contact resistance of push button. Similarly, a sliding switch can be connected in pull down. One of the problem which is required to be solved before interfacing a push button or sliding switch with the 8051 microcontroller is key bonds. Consider a push button connected in pull down to P1.0 pin of the 8051 microcontroller. The voltage at P1.0 pin with the push button released is plus 5 volt. When the push button is pressed, the voltage at P1.0 changes from plus 5 volt to 0 volt. However, there are some damped oscillations before the voltage at P1.0 reaches 0 volt. These damped oscillations last for 2200 milliseconds and they cause the program for detecting key press 
detect multiple key press. A software solution for this problem is to detect a high to low transition at P1.0, wait for 20 milliseconds and then check whether P1.0 is at logic low level. With the push button pressed, the voltage at P1.0 pin is 0 volt. When the push button is released, the voltage at P1.0 rises from 0 hold to plus 5 hold. However, there are some damped oscillations before the voltage at P1.0 reaches the steady state value of 5 hold. These damped oscillations last for 2200 milliseconds and they cause the program for detecting key release detect multiple key release. A software solution for this problem is to detect a low to high transition at P1.0, wait for 20 milliseconds and then check whether P1.0 is at logic high level. Now consider the assembly language program for interfacing a push button to P1.0 pin of the 8051 microcontroller. The instruction SCTB P1.0 makes P1.0 pin input pin. The statement loop P colon JB P1.0 loop P creates a loop which is executed till P1.0 is at logic high level. When P1.0 changes from logic high to logic low level, the loop is terminated and the instruction L call delay is executed. The execution of this instruction starts the execution of delay subroutine. The delay subroutine creates a delay of 20 milliseconds and after execution of the delay subroutine, the instruction JBP1.0, loop P is executed. This instruction checks whether P1.0 is at logic high level. If P1.0 is at logic high level, then the program control is transferred to the instruction JBP1.0 loop P. This happens when a logic high to logic low transition was detected at P1.0 because of noise. When P1.0 is at logic low level, the instruction CPL P1.1 is executed. The instructions J loop P, JB P1.0 loop P, L call delay, JB P1.0 loop P implement the logic for detecting a valid key press. The statement loop R colon JNB P1.0 loop R creates a loop which is executed till P1.0 is at logic low level. When P1.0 changes from logic low to logic high level, the instruction L call delay is executed. After execution of the L call delay instruction, the execution of the delay subroutine starts after completing execution of the delay subroutine the instruction JNB P1.0 loop R is executed. This instruction checks whether P1.0 is at logic low level. If P1.0 is at logic low level, the program control is transferred to the instruction JNB P1.0 loop R. This happens when a noise 
spike was detected at P1.0 pin. When P1.0 pin is at logic high level, the instruction S jump loop P is executed. The instructions loop R, JNB P1.0 loop R, L call delay, JNB P1.0 loop R, implement the logic for detecting a valid key release. There are two types of keyboards, array keyboard and matrix keyboard. A four key array keyboard has four wires and requires four port pins for connection. A 16 key matrix keyboard has eight wires and requires eight port pins for connection. 